ABC's General Hospital Sports revealed that in 2020, Mason began performing secret missions for Cyrus, becoming a henchman for Cyrus, and at the time, Cyrus gave a dangerous order to kidnap TJ, son of Jordan. Mason must obey these orders when deciding to follow Cyrus. He's forced to become evil, Jordan, and he was in great pain and fear when he saw his son threatened. Cyrus was the only one request that Jordan must follow his orders to release TJ. Although Jordan didn't want to succumb to Cyrus' imposition, she couldn't put her son in danger. She knew that Cyrus could carry out any of her threats if she disobeyed orders, and this forces Jordan to do things she doesn't want to save TJ's life. The pain and helplessness of the predicament forces Jordan to submit, as she is faced with a choice of protecting her son and complying with the demands of its brutal, brutal criminal. Meanwhile, several years have passed since TJ was kidnapped. Mason happens to go to the hospital to visit Austin, but in the meantime, he accidentally meets TJ, whom he once kidnapped. TJ messes and sends something familiar with Mason's expression, but couldn't remember exactly who it was. However, TJ still decided to keep a close eye to keep an eye on Austin, and this mysterious man, feeling bad about Mason's, confuses TJ. And, especially, after seeing him show up at the hospital, TJ feels that there is a secret behind Mason's appearance. Especially when this, that person is related to Austin, whom TJ knows is far from simple. Though he couldn't remember exactly, TJ decided to focus on Mason to find out the truth and any information that might help him recall his memories. Curiosity makes TJ determined to discover more about the mysterious man. Will TJ be able to recover and remember that he was once kidnapped by the Masons? And finally, in a moment, TJ remembers all the details and discovers that Mason was his kidnapper three years ago. A henchman under Cyrus' feeling of bewilderment and anger intertwined in TJ when he realizes that Mason is the bad guy. TJ decides to tell the truth to Sonny, hoping that this information will help him unravel the complicated relationship between Cyrus and Mason. Upon learning this information, Sonny feels the relationship between Mason and Cyrus has revealed the plot against her. Sonny realizes that Cyrus is the boss behind Mason and that the series of recent incidences may be related to the plan to take him down. Cyrus's hatred seems to have no end and everything is arranged to defeat Sonny. With everyone knowing the truth, Sonny is angry and determined not to let Cyrus escape responsibility for his dark actions. He wouldn't let go when he learned that Cyrus had plotted and betrayed him. What will Sonny do to get revenge on Cyrus and Mason when he learns the truth? Besides, Sonny is determined to take revenge on Cyrus because he dared to break the truce between them and plot to defeat him for a long time. To deal with Cyrus, Sonny comes up with a daring plan he decides to kidnap Mason. Having kidnapped Mason, Sonny wants to use the situation to send a powerful message to Cyrus. Sonny prepares a powerful ultimatum, threatening that if Cyrus wants Mason to live and not be tortured, he must ensure the safety of Drew, who is being tormented by him all the time. This opens up tense struggle scenes, and when Sonny decides to play against Cyrus to protect the people important to him, Cyrus and Mason's involvement, coupled with her intent to quietly take out Sonny, makes the flight and the flight and all that more dangerous. However, Sonny decides not to let Cyrus escape his responsibilities. Will Cyrus listen to Sonny and protect Mason? Or will Cyrus just ignore Mason? And how will things turn out?